Dictionary definition of apathy is simple, straightforward. It is defined as a state of indifference, when a person displays little to no emotion, feeling, concern, or interest in a topic. In line with the most traditional sense of the word, an apathetic individual today might not read the news or feel motivated to take action. But such definition ignores the nuances of what apathy means, especially among young people. To some, apathy is poison to progress. To others, it is merely a symptom of being busy with school where the focus lies primarily on academics. And for yet others, it is seen as a defining trait of today's generation. I definitely try to. I'm not as good as that as I wish I was. I think there's a big overload of information with the internet, which is super helpful for being informed, but a lot of times I have trouble kind of staying up to date with every single part of it. It's not just something that we read. It's not just something that exists in some other place. Like the things that we read and the things that we're learning about are happening to us and they're existing in our world and they will affect us. And when we grow up, that's gonna more directly affect us and some of us are gonna be governing each other. I usually stay up to the, updated on Russian current events because I'm Russian and, but for American, I stopped in middle school because I realized how much um, false information there is out there. So should, like, at the moment, I don't have that much time to read every single source to find out what is the real deal. Um, for Russian current events, I usually listen to historians that are talking about it, also not politicians. Um, my friend calls all politician, like, politicians clowns because usually we watch them for entertainment. And also my sister is very politically active as well and so having conversations just with my family and friends also kind of motivates me to do that. I think it's important to be aware of what's going on so you can have some measure of control over it. I, I had opinions but I didn't have anything with which to back up those opinions and I didn't like that. I was ignorant so I didn't really think they were like justified by anything, they were just what I thought. Mm -hmm. And like when, I feel like when you're ignorant you get into a lot more arguments over your opinions. And uh, you know I did and I realized that I didn't know anything. I personally care a lot about the environment but I don't count myself as a part of the like activist movement when people go on parades and say like there's climate change because we know about that and it's it doesn't do anything if you're just scared that it's gonna happen or like get angry so like last year I volunteered in McClellan Ranch for nature uh, conservation so we planted trees we uh, de-weeded the environment so that the whole um, area would be good for animals and plants that are native to the land and also we were given seeds so that we can spread them and help the environment. Um, I try to like bike if I can and so things that are personal or like use less plastic at home um, like I'm I became interested in like the zero waste movement also I don't think it's completely possible like to do 100% but it's better to move towards it so the only thing I'm against is going out on a parade and like not learning in school and not really telling anything to the government but just shouting. Like, it depends on the parade too if you actually do something to the government and it uh, influences it. I don't think so. I think I like to participate in activism um, because I'm passionate about it and I think sort of like a why not almost. A lot of people, especially uh, my grandfather, is very anti-protest. He's like, there's no reason to be out there just screaming and being emotional about it. Um, but for me, it's either you're with a unified group of people trying to show the world that change needs to be made, or you're sitting on your couch complaining about it and not doing anything about it. And so whether or not it makes a huge change, I think it's something that I'm passionate about. And so instead of just kind of sitting on my couch, I choose to go out and talk about it, if not, like, do something about it? Well, it depends, right? For Not everyone can afford to go to protests. Some people have work, some people have commitments. Protests, like, not everyone can afford, like, if you get arrested at a protest, that goes on your record. You might not get a job because of that. Not everyone can afford that kind of loss. Um, so I think, like, even if you're just aware and you use your knowledge to influence who you vote for or what you vote for, that's good enough. Uh, I can't vote and I don't have a job. I don't really have any basis with which to do anything. I think this school is pretty liberal, very, very liberal, I'd say. Um, and so, especially with our gun violence protest last year, that went super well. Yeah, two years ago. So that protest went really well. And I think it showed how passionate a lot of students at Monavista are. 
I think it's hard for us to see it because all we talk about when we're on campus is grades. But I think a lot of people really do care. I read like two years ago here in Monta Vista, and I didn't go because oh, I got about gun control, because we didn't contact anyone at all. We just went out in the field, and that's it. So, like, how does that help anyone? I personally think a lot of people were there because they wanted to skip. I think it was their fourth period class or something. Second. Second. Okay, yeah. I don't. I think a lot of students were. It was very shallow. That's what I think. I think there were some people there who were really committed to it, but I think most people were not. And you went? Yeah. Were you committed to it? No. So why did you go? Uh, I didn't like Spanish. Get out there and speak for what you believe in. It's, again, better than complaining about it and doing nothing. Even if you don't think it's going to make a huge change if you're passionate about it, then go meet other people who are also passionate about it. I think they're also just, I'll include myself in this, a little caught up in our own lives as high schoolers right now. It's a little hard to pull ourselves out of like focusing exactly on like the research paper that I have to do and what's going on in my bubble and try and focus on like, oh, this is going to affect me in a couple years or right now. Monta Vista is very shallow, very focused on the money. That's why so many people go into STEM fields. Uh, that's why people ignore literature and history because they think it doesn't make any money, but I think it's the most important class in school, or the two most important classes in school. I think it's good to be aware. Uh, I think it's easier than ever to learn more about news. And uh, I don't think fake news is as big of a deal as it is. Like, just if you just read enough, then you'll find the truth on your own. As high schoolers, our generation is the face of the future. In high school, being apathetic may seem like the easier, convenient, and more common path to take. Yet as we prepare to step into and be independent in the world beyond these halls, perhaps it is time we understand the implications of being apathetic and take responsibility for our role in the future of our world.